Do you feel like you're part of the three waves of volunteers? In this video, we're going to talk to Nikki's higher self about each wave and their purpose. Welcome back, and if this is your first time here, I'm Ariana, and I'm a hypnotherapist and past life regressionist, and I help you dive deep into the powers of your mind to expand your consciousness and achieve self-prosperity. Now, I'm doing this video because many of you have felt very connected to my previous video on the second wave of volunteers, and I thought it would be great to dive a little further into this with someone who is actually a part of this group. Now, in this video, we are going to talk to Nikki's higher self about the three waves of volunteers. And if you're not sure what the three waves are, I'll put a link in the description below from my previous video where I give a brief synopsis along with some Dolores Cannon links. Now, in our first session, it was revealed that Nikki was, in fact, a part of the second wave. So in this video clip, you will hear what each wave's purpose was, their age range, and more or less their characteristics. Now, let's jump right into it. In our last session, you mentioned that she's a second wave of volunteer. If someone was listening to this, how would they know that they were a part of this group? What are some of the characteristics? Mm -hmm. You uh, would always feel connected to something outside of this reality, um, a home, uh, a, a love, um, a protection, a higher power beyond what is seen and normally felt. Um, there really would be no question or doubt of a bigger existence than what we experience and see. Um, you would feel like you've always had a purpose uh, in your existence and the purpose is bigger than what most people talk about uh, when they talk about their purpose. You will feel like it is um, to save people, to help people, to save everyone and like it's just about finding your how because you know that it's meant to happen um you may feel uh connected to everyone um and that can be a lot but you know that you genuinely see um beyond what they show you so um Nikki sees everyone's soul she sees uh their light and even when they don't see it or know it's there she sees that and their potential um and that's part of being here uh because as uh Part of the purpose is um, helping people see who they are and their potential and their light and their soul because they don't remember. Um, they, most people don't see that in others or in themselves. Okay. Now, um, there's, I've read that there's a, an aid group for the second wave. Is that true? Is there like a certain age bracket that the second wave people fall under? I would say there's a majority type, but there is no specific age because um, some volunteers came a little later and some volunteers came a little sooner um, but you would probably encounter a lot of them um, in their uh, I'd say mid to late 30s to early to mid 40s so in that range mm -hmm. okay and now 
What about the first wave of volunteer? What are some of their characteristics and what was their purpose or is their purpose? If they're still around. The first wave um, brought about the energy that needed to be here just to start the shift. So um, they were able to break through some of the density and bring about hope. Um, and peace and peace and love um, from a time where um, there was denser energy. So they brought lighter energy with them uh, that kind of would pave the way for the second wave um, so that uh, the integration of the energy wasn't so difficult, it wasn't so dense. Uh, like it was at other times before. And um, what time period would you say the, this uh, first wave, these first waivers um, were here? Mm. The first waivers were what we would call the baby boomers. They mm -hmm. were born after the war uh, around that time and they mm -hmm. came into their um, fuller awareness of their energetic energetic difference uh, around the 60s uh, around that time mm -hmm. um, which would explain that time period being very much about peace and love yes that was their energetic signature and that's what separated them from uh, the denser energy before they arrived Okay. And what about the third wave of volunteers? What are their characteristics and purpose? The third wave are younger and they already arrived with um, the energy. So second wave and first wave kind of had to um, realize um, that they were different um, as time went on. They they saw they saw it. They felt it, and they had to understand um, how they were different from people before. And then the third wave, they already know. They they come already knowing that they're different. They they may still want to um, be a part of the world but they know they're not really fully of this world and they come with plans and ideas to create new systems and new realities for the new age that is coming so when you say the first and uh, second waivers had to kind of uh, grow into their um, knowingness as opposed to the third waivers already come in knowing yes Okay, and these third wave, these third waivers, are they children right now or are they, I guess, young adults? Mm, just like uh, the second wave, they vary, but a majority of them are uh, children and some are teenagers and there are some that are in their early, early 20s, but mm -hmm. um, most would be considered children. Mm -hmm. So would you say that after this transition of um, this virus, we're going to see a lot more people of this nature? Yes. They will step forward. They will volunteer they will implement new ideas um, after this uh, dark period of confusion. However, this is a this is a period of illumination, meaning everything that was in the dark is now coming to light, and this uh, allows uh, some second and most third waivers to see what needs to be done. 
And what advice would you give parents raising children who are already come knowing? Because sometimes if you're second waiver or first waiver, it might seem startling having a young child know all of this when you have to grow into it. So what advice would you give? Please be patient. Um, this is not the same world uh, that you came into and um, it's it's not necessary to um, protect them by forcing them to hide their energy and their differences. It's more important to embrace and encourage because they will change things, they will change uh, the systems and they will um, bring about a better world, but it will be very different from the world that we uh, second waivers or some first waivers uh, came into. Okay. Um, that was very helpful and super informative. Um, so thank you for that. Now in the comments below, let me know if you can connect with any of these groups. Now in my case, I feel that my daughter is very much a part of the third wave based on what was said, her characteristics, and the fact that I've felt this way for a little while, but it's nice to have some validation. If you have been feeling a part of the three wave of volunteers, I hope that this gave you some insight and the validation that you needed to know who you are. If you like this video, please give it a like and stay tuned for my next video where we talk about sex energy. Until next time, Infinite Creators, wishing you all abundance, love, and prosperity.